Sapient from Carrington and altered its programming. It no longer has a personality, so there will be no further incidents. This will reduce its efficiency. My team will have to take it to the core themselves. This will endanger them. You should have anticipated that the Sapient might develop a troublesome moral code. No one could have predicted that, and I resent being singled out for blame. What about him? The President turned down the request for the loan of the Pelagic 2. Could it be you overestimated your influence over him? No. Perhaps I underestimated his resolve. We have a contingency plan ready to go, and we will move as soon as the Presidential Honorage arrives at the airbase. All I need from the President is a tissue sample. <laughs> Assuming you don't get any interference. If Carrington has pieced together enough of this, he will have called for reinforcements. There will be no outside help from Mr. Carrington. The technology you gave us is installed in Nevada and fully operational. We can intercept any craft they use. Then the devices we gave you are working correctly. Good, because we believe anything which does not work correctly should be destroyed. Consider that as you follow your backup plans. Dark reporting in. Prepare to receive a download of the meeting data. Priority request for an institute support team to protect the president before he goes to Alaska. No time for that now, Agent Dark. There's been a development during radio silence. The craft carrying those friends I was talking about was shot down over Nevada. The weapon responsible was far from Area 51. That's where the survivors and debris will have been taken. You're to prep for immediate dispatch when you return here. Carrington out. Area 51? But what about the president? 